Sometimes you have to look for answers in some unexpected places. The future of capital expenditure will be focused on value chains that have been or will be mostly disrupted by technology. The fast adoption of electric cars replacing internal combustion engines won't just impact the balance sheets of traditional auto companies. The disruption will be felt from commodities and new materials to semiconductors and capital goods and ultimately infrastructure too. Yeah, right there. Yep. The Chevy Bolt is actually the first electric car that can give us a glimpse of how mass-produced electric cars will be built in the future. That's why we at UBS bought one and took it apart piece by piece. 39 UBS analysts poured over 563 parts. Here's what we found under the hood. Electric vehicles are getting cheaper to produce, faster. We found the cost of the powertrain components is lower than previously estimated. By 2023, car makers in Europe will be able to sell an electric car at a 5% margin, and it'll be cheaper than a conventional car. 95% of the powertrain value of the Bolt came from relative newcomer LG. The South Korean firm's imprint on 15 different components shows how leading tech firms are playing a bigger role in the auto supply chain. There's $550 of semiconductor content in the electric drivetrain, compared to the $60 to $90 of content found in a traditional combustion drivetrain. That's why we at UBS expect automotive to be the fastest growing sector in semis over the next five to 10 years. UBS predicts 30% of vehicles sold in Europe will be electric by 2025. Firms such as Umicore are set to benefit, but specialty polymer producers and companies overexposed to the European diesel market could face challenges. As the penetration of electric vehicles is likely to come faster than expected, there'll be increased capex spend on autos in general. But with less machine parts that need servicing than those found in conventional cars, there will be losers too. What UBS found under the hood has far-reaching implications, not only for the whole global auto sector, but for capital goods, chemicals, technology, materials, energy, and the future of capital as a whole.